So, I have not done an artisan cutlery knife in a minute. But I got one in here. And uh, I don't see the name of it. So, we'll go forward until I can't go forward. But I can tell you that, oh man, this box is heavy. So, you may know what's coming. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at this behemoth, man. Wow. I mean, I think as a knife collector, you, ha you have to get one of these. I don't know. Maybe you don't have to. But, I wonder if it's got the name. 1820P. I think it's got a name, though. Let me, uh, let me get that. So, yeah, it is the 1820P uh, that's here. But it's also called the Proponent, and it's designed by Dirk Pinkerton. Then D2 Steel. I mean, look at this thing, man. It's sort of like, the, let me get rid of it. It comes with, uh, uh, yeah, we're going to need to keep that by. But it comes with a pouch. There's some other stuff down here. A card, I guess. Let's look at it. It's just got the specs of the knife. Let's look at it. 59 to 61 Rockwell D2 G10 Ceramic Ball CNC. Yeah. Uh, I thought maybe it was going to give the weight there, <laughs> but it didn't. I don't know. I mean, if you can't highlight a feature, like some things are best unspoken, maybe. Because, man, is this thing big. Wow. Proponent. <laughs> I mean, this thing. It's legit. I guess anodized collar. Anodized collar. Just look at the size of the hardware on this thing. The hard... You know, and I've said this before, there's there's big knives, and then there's knives that have been built big, you know, because I have some big knives that aren't really built big. They're just, mm. they're bigger, but all the components are still really small in it. You know, it'd be like getting a three-quarter ton truck, but it's got all half-ton components in it. I mean, maybe that's the best analogy I can come up with, but... This thing has got huge components in it. You know, this initial action run. This thing runs, man. And, uh, man, I'm kind of revealing something, but this box has been sitting over here on this bench for three months. I mean, it's been sitting over there for a long time, and I just haven't gotten to this knife. And so, I mean, it's due, right? Wow, I think I need like a regular screwdriver to get in this thing. I mean, that looks like that might be the best bet, right? Just a regular screwdriver. Let me cover this real quick, but it's got a pin, so you can pin it and turn it into a lock blade. Screws in there, and uh, with that screwed in, then the lock doesn't even need to function, but in order for this lock to come into play, you'd have to shear this pin. So in essence, I guess you could chop, you know, you could grip back here and, you know, get some leverage and chop. Like, you know, could you take this to camp? I mean, I'd rather have an ax, I guess, but in a pinch, but who's carrying this around with them? You know, like to, like your plane goes down or something, you pull this out of your backpack. Like you can't carry a knife on a plane no more, but you know, I mean, <laughs> yeah, this thing's stupid. It is so big, man. I mean, hey, let's get in it. I don't think I need to explain this anymore. It's pretty simple what that's about. I mean, let me, uh, what am I going to use? I'm not even, I'm not sure where to go, but I, I do think that a regular screwdriver makes sense. A regular flat blade to spin these out. I, that's, I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I have 
a screwdriver blade, but it ain't near big enough. I mean, it's pretty big, but yeah, that's, that's not big enough for that. So yeah, I'm gonna get a regular screwdriver. Okay, got my trusty cobalt. I don't know if I can link this online to purchase or not, but man, it comes with the bits in the end. Um, and it's a double drive. So it's a ratcheting screwdriver that when you use it, it if you, you can go back and forth and it will turn each time. So this thing's super handy. I mean, I dig it. And then to change directions, you just pull that out. Now you can go the other way and take it off. Put it on, take it off. Wax on, wax off. All right. Enough about the screwdriver. But hey, if I can link this, I will. Ooh, that's tight. What's up? I did not expect it to be that tight. It's almost like it doesn't want to let me in there. Yeah, I just marred that up. Wow. All right. Well, I'm going to take that out of there, and I'm going to put it in here and get a little closer bite. But I did. I marred the, the end of that right there. I'll have to clean that up with a file. Let's see if I can get it this way. I must say no. I might not be getting in there because the only way in is through that, and it must be Loctited down and uh man i i did i knocked that popped out of there and marred that Ooh. screw good i mean i got some little files i can probably take to it there i cleaned it up i mean you know sometimes you just gotta accept it right like the knife runs really well. There's not there's not anything that I'm feeling compelled that I got to get after. There's absolutely no play in this thing, so I don't need to tighten it up. And it's running good. But yeah, I boogered that pretty pretty good. Let me uh let me see if I can't clean that up real quick. I'm going to get a file. Okay, got my little needle file set. Let me place that down. I'm not really trying to change anything. It's just when that jumped out of there, it knocked up a little burr and left a sharp edge. So I definitely want to get rid of that. I mean, you know, this is... This is a great illustration of the perils that can come from messing with your stuff. You know, and probably a great opportunity for the detractors of checking it in and checking it out. A great opportunity to say, see, that's why you shouldn't be doing that, man. But, you know... Hey, if if I bought a four thousand dollar rifle this weekend, it'd be wouldn't be on this bench. It'd, I'd be out in my shop on my gun bench, but I'd, I'd be right there taking it apart, man. Most definitely wouldn't just run it to the range and start blasting away. Yeah, so ah, do I press on? I mean, too bad we're not live. If we were live right now, I could say, all right, what are we gonna do? I wonder if that's got a torque bit in there as well. It does not. Yeah, there's no there's no torque bit in there. That is just a flat blade screwdriver bit. And I'm pretty sure that that's about as good of a fit of a bit that I could get in there. It is. Yeah, it fits back here too. I mean, you see how, can you tell I'm struggling with letting it go? <laughs> like, 
I, I definitely don't do not want to let that go. I want to put this back in here and uh, like maybe even put this in my impact, my little nut driver and have it burp, and take that thing off of there. I mean, am I going to let it beat me y'all or do I get after it? Oh, <sighs> To be or not to be. <laughs> I mean, golly, do I let that go? It's such a behemoth of a knife. It feels so well built that, I mean, I, I could just trust it and leave it be. There's some T8s. Man, and they're tight too. Oof. Yeah, I mean. All right, against my will, I'm going to comply. <laughs> Under the threat of destruction, I'm just going to comply. I'm not going to press on. Look at the size of that stop pin in there. It's massive. Yep. The, the best thing I can think is that everything on here is Loctited. And Loctite it in a manner that doesn't want to, doesn't want to let you take it apart. I mean, I wonder if I could, if I can oil, well, I definitely can oil it. Let's do that. Put a couple of drops of oil on it. That'll satisfy me, <laughs> satisfy my OCD to do something. Yeah, I mean, it wins. I'm going to leave it be. It can keep its clothes on. Okay. I mean, so this initial action, it, it it's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, let me try that fuller. Yep. I wonder if I can do that with my thumb. Back here. Yep. Ooh, that is a lot of steel slinging out there, though. Be easy to lose control of that. Thumb works good. Spidey flick. <sighs> that works, but you got to want it. It's got a pretty good detent going there. Uh, that reminds me. Let's put a drop on that detent ball, too. Just a tiny little bit. I mean, if this is what we're stuck with, let's uh, make the best of it. I mean, hey, be sure and comment below. If you have one of these and you got it apart, you know what? Don't tell me. Because <laughs> if you comment and say, yeah, bro, mine was like that too, but I got it apart. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to have to take up the challenge. I'm going to have to get busy, which to be honest, uh, at this point, I am comfortable with just letting it go. So that's what I want to do. Got a nice stonewashed D2 here. Yeah, it's got a pretty good choil, sharpening choil. Lots of space from where that curve ends in here at the tip of my finger all the way down to there. So this could be sharpened a bunch. You know, D2 is probably not the best if you're talking about like a bushcraft knife type thing. Uh, just simply because it's not the easiest steel in the world to sharpen. Um, ergonomics. Yeah, I mean, it fits in the hand really well. Uh, there's no hot spots. That pocket clip is disappearing underneath there. Um, I will say that the knockdown on the edges is lacking a little bit. The edges feel a little sharp to me. If you were holding this knife all day, I, if I was, I'd probably roll these edges off with a file. Yep, I'd probably clean that up a little bit. Um, but it's good here. It's definitely good here. And oddly enough, this big monster of a knife is is pretty pokey. Um, as far as cutting with it, I mean, it's got, it's got a wonderful little tip edge uh, to cut with there that I believe is probably going to be insanely sharp. 
Yeah, just the weight of the knife. Just smash right through that. Since we're checking sharpness, let's check it. Yeah, I mean, the knife overall is crazy wicked sharp. Yeah, they sharpened it well before it left home. Uh, let's run the pocket clip. And then uh, I'll probably check it for price and availability. All right. Can it get over the thick stuff? Yeah. And then, whoop, all the way in. And that reveals a formidable piece in your pocket, 100%. That hole, that oval hole cut out in the pocket clip is going to aid your grip to grab that and get it out. Uh, thin material, yeah, it's holding on. There's so much surface underneath this pocket clip, and it's got good tension that it's going to hold it in there. Could go in the pocket back here where I carry. My fear would be is that that thing is big enough and wide enough that I might sit on it. I don't know. It might be high on the hip and, and really just stay on my hip. But, yeah, that definitely holds in there. Wow. All right. Price and availability. White Mountain Knives shows to have a couple for around $69, like right at $70. So with the 10% off discount down below for White Mountain Knives, DM10, you, you can pick this up for about $63 from White Mountain Knives. Not a bad price considering what it is. I, you know, especially if, I mean, do you have the kind of heavy duty work that you could use something like this? Uh, if so, I mean, man, that's a pretty good price for that. I mean, nice G10, plenty of grip on that surface. I mean, the ergonomics are good on it. Even how this is all kind of scalloped here for your fingers to lay in there. Makes for a comfy knife. It really does. Kind of combat jimping, but it's not very sharp. It's been polished. So, yeah, it's got big jimping here, but it's kind of been smoothed over. So, it's not overly aggressive. Like, I can run my thumb across that with a fair amount of weight on it, and it doesn't bite me. Yeah, so, uh, I think Amazon. Let me check. So, I'll link it below, but the place to buy this knife is Amazon. Amazon has several models for like $55, which is what? Uh, $8 cheaper than White Mountain Knives after the discount. And they have a blacked out version. D2, black coated blade, black G10, all blacked hardware. Completely murdered out for like 40 what is it? $47. $47. Bucks. I mean, so if you're ever going to get one, Man, I don't, you know, I don't think you can beat that price. $47 for this knife on Amazon with next day delivery. So if you really want it, order it. It'll be there, you know, I don't know if you ordered it the day that you see this. You should have it the next day. All right. Uh, Artisan Proponent 1820P. Appreciate you watching. All right, it's a big enough deal. Sorry. Let's check it for safety. How about that? I don't know why I didn't, but yeah, there's no contact in that tip. But, ooh, that's a Grand Canyon there, man. You can, I can almost stick my finger completely in that gap. And, I mean, I can get off. That blade is way back there, that tip, and I can almost get to it. But, yeah, I can't touch that. How about back here? Ooh, I thought for a second I was going to get it. Because again, it's like the Grand Canyon between these two scales. But I can't touch that blade. So the clip is good. The tip is good. And the back is good. All right. Now, appreciate you watching. Take care.